Using the Project Navigator palette, you may create new construct drawings. You may also take existing drawing files and include them in your project. There may be consultant drawings that you would like to include as well. Let's review how to incorporate these DWG files into Project Navigator. I'll begin by opening Windows Explorer. The first way is to find the file, then drag and drop it onto the Constructs section. This opens the Add Construct dialog box. I'll drag and drop the second floor DWG file onto Constructs. The Add Construct dialog box includes text fields for name and description and allows us to associate it with a level and division. I'll pick Level 2, Division 1. On the bottom left is a checkbox to open in Drawing Editor if we immediately want to work on this file. I'll click OK. This method actually moves the DWG file from its present folder location to the Constructs folder location under the project. If we want to maintain the original drawing and instead create a copy of it in our project, then as we drag it from Windows Explorer into Project Navigator, we need to hold down the Control key. Again, I'll open Windows Explorer, then hold down the Control key as I drag the ground floor drawing into the Construct section. This opens the Add Construct dialog box. I'll associate this file with the ground level Division 1. Then click OK. The ground floor has been copied to the Constructs folder and still exists in the original folder. The last way to add an existing drawing to the project is to link it. I'll again open Windows Explorer. Now imagine that the typical core drawing is being created by a consultant and they will continue to revise the drawing. I would like to have this file linked as an XREF into my project so that as it changes I will be aware of it. Yet I don't want it included in the project's normal folder structure. So this time in Windows Explorer I'll hold down the Alt key, select the typical core drawing, and drag and drop it into the Elements section. In the Add Element dialog box there is no Level and Division section. I'll click OK. Now notice the little arrow on the lower left corner of the Element file which indicates that this is a link. The original file is still located in its original folder and was not moved or copied into the project folders. Now as the original drawing changes, the link will automatically update.